Hello Aquarius, oh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, now that I swear, I say it how it is, no sugar coating. Please keep in mind, not every Aquarius has the same life, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it. The roles can also be reversed and you can check your moon, rising and Venus. So let's get into it. We are going to do the person on your mind, singles, and um, whatchamacallit, money and career. All right. Well, person on your mind is for someone who actually like has a person in their life. Some more like relationships, right? So let's have a look at the recent past so you can tell if it's your story or not. Okay, so a lot of communication. Yeah, well, no wonder you're stressed. I feel like it's just this person genuinely stressing you out. Um, I feel like this person's pretty controlling really controlling jealous prone to anger sorry for the fire truck in the background um i live downtown so there's a lot of street traffic noises <laughs> but yeah if your alarm is ringing about this person like yeah i don't know i'm not feeling it change is coming action the time is now where will you be when the big event happens? I feel like, I don't know, you've been investing a lot in this person with that seven of pentacles, but I don't know if it's worth the trouble with like the nine of swords, the queen of wands and queen of wands in reverse. I don't know, man, this person's real fucking aggressive. Ne negative, I feel like they're stressing the fuck out of you, keeping you up at night, nightmares dating fear, crippling anxiety, um, it says here on the cards, but yeah, this person's not very confident, just very insecure energy. They might make you feel like they leave you in the cold all the time. You end up heartbroken and super disappointed with their behavior. Um, let's see what the fuck their problem is. <laughs> and for signs, we got Gemini, Sag, Aries. But let's see. Their feelings towards you, Aquarius. Could be a fairly newer relationship. I do feel like this person might be trying to decide between you and someone else or maybe, well, it's their feelings. So they may be stuck on someone from their past that really fucked them up. And honestly, the moon in reverse sometimes gives me like mental illness. So your person may have some like untreated bipolar, borderline or something like that. Feel like this person could be younger than you and they're very immature though with that page of wands i don't always take it like that but it's definitely a person's vibe honestly i just think this person's mentally unstable they do love you to a degree But I don't think they really know how to love. I think they just pop off all the time. I'm looking at the, the volcano here. I feel like maybe they get overwhelmed with their feelings and they act out. They could be trying to push you away. Could be just a lot of immaturity here. So yeah, they're wondering if they have feelings for you. Yeah, they do, but you should probably worry more about if it's worth your time because eh. 
Yeah, how do they view you? You know, in their mind's eye, the Empress. They do feel like you have everything. Doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. The sun, very sexually attracted to you. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands. They think you're also a little argumentative. They feel like you have everything that they want. They might think you're moving too slow for them. Very sexually attracted to you. It's like their head space is a lot better than their emotional space. I'll tell you that much, but they're very emotionally reactive, really. And I feel their recent past lines up with more like their feelings than their thoughts. So I feel like this person just lacks in being logical. They also definitely don't know how to communicate their feelings and how to like balance the two. They lack in balance. Like you should operate probably more from a logical place, but you have to consider your feelings. I feel like this person just consider their emotion and they don't really think about, you know, the, the repercussions and the consequences. Yeah, your future actions towards you, Five of Pentacles, might actually end up leaving you in the cold, guys. Um, Eight of Swords, yeah. Isolation, abandonment, restriction. They might not be answering to your messages as much. I do feel like there's someone else that they have feelings for. And honestly, this person might be really volatile. Yeah, that's a good word to describe this person. Like very volatile, especially emotionally. And the other person might match their energy more. And this person might feel like drama and like being unstable is like how you show you care. I don't know, man. Weird vibes, Aquarius, Chariot. So I feel like they're going to distance themselves a little bit and then pop up again out of nowhere. A very immature behavior. Obviously, you've got another page. So it almost feels like a test. Like I'm going to distance myself to see if they're going to chase me. But I don't think you really will. And then they're going to come back around with some immature nonsense. I don't think they're going to take any accountability or anything. Yeah, this person's a little careless. So let's see some advice for you. And then we'll pull some Oracle. Two of Wands. Are you prepared for the journey? The journey of fucking nonsense? Yeah, basically it's telling you to walk away. So Six of Swords is like my walk away card. Eight of Swords is more like escaping. But yeah, I do feel like you need to escape this situation and like commit to what you really want, which I don't think this is what you want. Like this is fuckery. I feel like you have to make a choice here to kind of leave that behind. That's the advice, obviously. I feel like that was clear. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Some people are just, you know, they're not capable of a healthy relationship and you can't make someone do anything. You can't, you can't really heal other people. People gotta take accountability and do the work for themselves. Time, I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Ego, yeah person can have a big ego i let my pride get in the way of our connection well i think it's more mental illness than pride and like you got a mental illness it's not your fault but you got to take the steps necessary maybe get on medication you know still not an excuse to treat people poorly in my opinion I am my true identity from you. So they might know that they have a disorder and I'm not telling you. I use my work as a way to move on from you. The 
someone else. Yeah, I did get a feeling there was someone else. They're going to try to let go. I feel like you should really let go and move on here. Um, yeah. Not good vibe, guys. Soulmate. Some of you might think this is your soulmate. Or they might think you're their soulmate. Or they think this other person is their soulmate. Storm, turmoil is coming ahead. I feel like that's, this is all this person brings in your life, right? Obviously, there might be some good moments. I almost feel like the good moments might just be more sexual, to be honest. Hurting, agonizing pain. Karmic relationship, toxicity, party, having fun, freedom. I feel like you need to free yourself from this situation. Your person could party way too much, drink way too much, do drugs and shit. I don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection. It's best to leave it alone unless you decide to take the first step. Um, I do feel like they're gonna reach out in the end with that chariot, at the end with their actions. But I feel like this person wants to be like, oh, if they don't hit me up, I'm not gonna say anything, but then they're gonna cave maybe after some partying. So yeah, I'd say get the fuck out of there not worth the trouble at all we're gonna look for my singles so if you are gonna be recently single if you're in a situation ship which is not a relationship guys then check it out as well and then we're gonna go into the money For my Aquarius singles. I'm feeling this one. October. So Halloween decks. But all right. So who is coming towards Aquarius in October? My single Aquariuses. It's someone you invested a lot in in the past, but um, things ended. A lot of exes coming back. Somebody who was a fucking burden. Maybe that same person that you go on and off with from like the people who have um, a person's read, but that nine of wands, you gotta set some clear boundaries. I feel like you have, like you clear, you set some clear boundaries because that person was just a fucking burden. Things ended. After like a fair amount of time with that eight of pentacles, I feel like you made your due diligence and you realize this person was controlling. You might want to look at yourself too, Aquarius, if you keep attracting like controlling people, like look why that is, why you're attracted to that. There might be a wound that you need to heal here. Um, Could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo. Doesn't have to be. You got Sag twice. Aries. There you are, Aquarius. Um, it's just a lot of bullshit. So whether this person wants six of pentacles, three of pentacles, nine of pentacles, eight of swords. This person feels kind of low-key trapped. Do you feel like they might want something from you? I don't think they want to start a relationship again with that Nine of Pentacles. Um, this person likes to be single and play the field with that Three of Pentacles. Somebody you could work with. I've worked with, met through work in the past. You guys met at work, their job, your job, doesn't matter. But some of you, I feel like they want money. He's got all pentacles, came out. 
And let's see their feelings for you. Dinosaurs, they feel betrayed. They feel like they got some shit to say about how betrayed they feel, how disappointed they feel. Um, they feel like it's going to take a lot of courage and strength to come out and say it. Some of them, they do want to fuck that Knight of Wands. But I feel like mostly they want to get something off their chest. Yeah. Okay, advice for you with this person. Chariot. The sun. The hermit. And Knight of Cups at the bottom. You know, the hermit, I feel like it's introspection, solitude, kind of shutting down a little bit and not entertaining it. But like in this card, it's like, see the hermit, it's like giving all the kids candy. Um, so they'll go away. So I feel like you might want to entertain it and close that door. Give him the like enlightenment that they need on the situation. The chariot, I do feel like you should reply back and just maybe get that closure. So you both can move on. Yeah. The clock is ticking. So I feel like it's going to be sooner than later. Well, October conflict. It's going to be an argument. It happened on the 6th. Enemy, watch your back. Intimacy, bonding, fears, afraid. This person is really afraid of contacting you. They feel like you guys have a strong bond. But yeah, when you trust this person too much, like I said, just like, yeah, reply and try to keep it sweet and short and just kind of close that door. I'm sorry for only focusing on the message messages we exchanged, not the emotion behind them. I should have looked deeper into what you were really saying. Um, I feel like this person's gaslighting themselves. Um, I don't know. At the end of the day, they might try to make up some more meanings to what you've said in the past. Because at the end of the day, like you shouldn't have to read between the lines. If people aren't going to say what they want to say, then... I don't know. We keep replaying the same story over and over again and it never ends well. When will we finally learn to break this cycle? I feel like this person doesn't want to let go. I feel like you want to break the cycle with the death card here. Like you, you've ended things, but this person's not really accepting it. I feel like they just need closure and they make up stories in their head about what happened, how you feel, what you really actually meant. Which is low key the Lulu. The Lulu is a Sululu for some people, you know? All right, guys, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, we are going to do the money portion. Subscribe if you're not already. Okay, let's see, Aquarius, your money for October. A money manager, you might have to manage your money better. You're going to learn to manage your money better. Insurance. Credit repair. Some of you, if your credit is fucked, you really need to look into that. Some of you could finally see um, a higher credit score this month. Save a lot more money. Learn how to manage your money better. Check on your insurance. Make sure everything is up to date. 
Maybe you shop around, find a better deal for your insurance. Um, this car could, this car, this card could indicate, yeah, maybe your car insurance specifically, because I just said car. This card could indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finances. So if you're thinking about a career change or trying to decide on a major or on a career or something, um, that could be the direction that you should go into. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. Do you feel like things are looking up? Gain some more independence. Manage money yourself. Independence guarantees security. So yeah, I feel like you're just going to look into your finances, save more, um, maybe cut out on some spending, um, get a better insurance deal. Um, and yeah, don't depend on others. So if you saw the money manager and you're like, should I hire a money manager? No, um, you can figure that shit out by yourself. Um, you always need to put something off for a bad day, create savings for the future. So I feel like you're going to save more money in October. Let's see what the tarot has as well. Let me use, ooh, sorry, I hit my stand, but okay hermit so maybe it's telling you to go out less maybe party a little less spend a little less on some recreational activities and also really look into your finances hold yourself accountable pair of cups A massacre of crystals and we got the ten of swords oh, hold on i just have to look through the book because i haven't used that deck probably since last october last halloween and i'm not too sure the terror and the massacre the crystal fell sorry about that if that was loud um Massacre, Haunting, okay, Page, Night, oh, wait, yeah, okay, Page, King, okay, okay, so Crystals, Pentacles, Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, so, yeah, I think you might impulsively spend sometimes in coming from an emotional place, um, which you really need to stop doing. You're going to see way more money coming in. Some of you could have been backstabbed, especially when it comes to your credit. Maybe that's why you need to repair your credit. It is going to happen. Like, be patient. Um, yeah, whoa. Well, the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So if somebody could have stolen from you, um, stolen your identity, stolen some credit cards, which fucked up your credit. And now you gotta fix it. Take what resonates, right? But, okay, what can you do to repair that credit? For those of you who stay positive about it, gonna take time be patient it is gonna happen you might need like an extra little side hustle for some of you the queen of wands here wait was it queen or knight shh, 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 shh. Queen, yeah. So you got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you have to be a little more empathetic towards yourself, a little bit more gentle, much more positive, and just understand that it's not going to happen overnight. It is going to happen, but you need to give it a minute. And an extra little hustle on the side could really help with the Queen of Wands. Just stay determined, keep going. And yeah, don't be too negative about the situation. 
Okay, Aquarius, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.